AMC stock is about to go crazy tomorrow in one direction or the other. I cannot tell you that, but what I will talk about is what is causing this move today and why AMC stock is going to move big tomorrow. I personally, I put on the lucky hat. I do think it could be a bullish reaction. And if this does play out, like I think we're going to go insane. We're going to go crazy. You want to be fully invested in AMC. And I want to go over my thought process around that with you guys and look at the technicals, look at the data that you guys need to know and all of that. So let's get into it. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date on all of these videos. If you guys want to come trade with us, check out the link down below in the pinned comment as well. So getting into this video, AMC stock is down about 7% right now uh, to $21.69 per share so it's definitely not a great day overall but what is causing this well we were 100 percent correct with the videos we were making yesterday um and over the last couple of days so it says feds brainerd sees balance sheet reduction soon at a rapid pace key points Fed Governor Lael Brainerd said Tuesday that the central bank could start reducing its balance sheet as soon as May and would hope uh, and, and would be doing so at a rapid pace. She also indicated that interest rate hikes could come at a more aggressive pace than the typical 0.25 percentage point increments. So what else came out today? Fed Daly. Fed could start reducing balance sheet as early as May. They're trying to warn you guys of what is going to be coming tomorrow during the Fed minutes. That's what is going to come out. Balance sheet reduction in May. Maybe they give a time frame on how many billions of dollars they want to do per month, if it's going to be more than we expect or if it'll be less than we expect. But just a brief rundown in case you guys don't watch all of these videos and you don't know why the balance sheet reduction is such a big deal, even more so than raising rates. Raising rates doesn't even compare to the Fed reducing the balance sheet. So we've never really seen balance sheet reduction. This has really only went up in a meaningful way since 2007 and we've about 10 x the balance sheet. Now, the balance sheet was reduced from about $4.5 trillion down to about $3.7 trillion in late 2018 and early 2019. And what happened to the S&P 500 during this time? Well, we fell about 25%. We fell about 25%. You've seen a crash in the market. So there's not really any good positive history to look at even comparatively to raising rates we know hey you raise rates stocks can still do well that doesn't mean stocks have to do bad but the balance sheet reduction the only other reference of history we have to go off of is the stock market crashing 25 percent. but what does this really do so when the fed reduces their balance sheet they start to sell bonds onto the open markets which drives down the price of those bonds which drives up the yield on those bonds now banks when you go to get a loan if you want to start a business get a car loan get a house loan get a personal loan any kind of loan the bank they charge their rates to you really based off of what those treasury bonds are so if the fed's selling out rates are going up you're going to be hit with much higher rates because nobody in the world is going to lend their money to you over the government if they would give you the same rates right they're going to charge you an additional premium on top of that so if they're already going up you got to pay a premium on top of that you really really slow down economic growth so we are not expecting that we were not expecting balance sheet reduction uh in may we were expecting that in june july august maybe september to really get into meaningful balance sheet reduction but if they're coming out they're saying hey we got to start in may we got to go more aggressively than we even thought that's why the markets are freaking out today and this is a somewhat mild reaction compared to what could likely come out tomorrow i think the markets are kind of in denial and they're they're kind of like you know fed jerome powell he's not gonna do that to us that guy's not gonna do that well it looks like they're going to even like fed daly that has been very much on the dovish side is is saying that they're gonna probably start balance sheet reduction as early as may it's coming out tomorrow, guys. So just be pre be prepared for that. Trade around that if you guys want to. I personally have some Apple puts, but uh, 
conversation for a different video or just come join the trading community like i said link down below in the pinned comment but how could this actually make amc stock rally tomorrow well it comes down to a couple factors amc stock has fallen a lot already there's no there's no hiding that there's there's no secret there We've fallen a lot since we hit $34 per share. If you look at the daily candlestick charts, drop 12%, 5%, 4%, 8%, uh, you know, now, you know, down another 8% today. We've fallen a lot. So we're really coming to this critical level at $21 per share flat. Now, it all comes down to if the markets are starting to expect and starting to price in balance sheet reduction, and obviously we're expected to get confirmation of that tomorrow with the fed minutes that i believe come out at about 2 p.m tomorrow um then if that does not happen if you actually see nothing about the balance sheet in those fed minutes the markets will rally off of that because it's all about expectations that's why we were 100 percent correct here on this channel and we knew this drop was coming it was because the markets were not pricing in balance sheet reduction now they are a little bit now if you start to see like i said nothing comes about of the balance sheet reduction here tomorrow the markets are going to rally off of that and a lot of stocks like amc a lot of your higher growth stocks that might have to actually go out and get loans and and need additional capital um those stocks are going to do the best so that's really it as far as that and you mix in the fact that amc stock has already fallen so hard it would not surprise me to see a big bounce tomorrow or it even wouldn't surprise me to see a big drop tomorrow it could either go well huh? it could go either way that's what i'm saying amc stock is going to go crazy tomorrow it's going to move big the broad markets are going to move big tomorrow so that is basically all that's the thesis that's exactly what is going on now let's get into the data that you guys need to know around amc stock as well as the broad market so there is more sanctions coming for uh russia including um in including a ban on new investments in russia and possibly just an all-out energy ban uh from the eu so that's why oil uh was starting to go up today let's look at where it's at yeah it's only up 0.28 percent natural gas though up seven and a half percent for the day and 30-year fixed mortgage rate climbs above five percent hallelujah that's investors expecting balance sheet reduction and those rates to go higher so we'll see exactly what does go on with that those sanctions that's about it we didn't really get any other news about the peace negotiations between russia and ukraine so we'll wait and see if there's a positive headline that does uh come out from that but does not look very likely at the current moment now let's talk about the ortex data so for amc stock you're still looking at positive order value of 56 percent nine orders totaling 2.69 million dollars this is for the options so you're down eight percent but you're still getting a positive order value of 56 percent that means there's more money going towards bullish options rather than bearish options for the day so it's very possible that we do rally tomorrow institutional investors are still putting their money um on that and that's definitely uh good to see you guys can also see yesterday 67 percent positive order value and over the last week 75 percent positive order value with almost one billion dollars in options placed on amc stock now as far as the short interest of free float that is 20.84 percent current shares that are sold short of 107.41 million cost bar max at about four percent uh return shares 1.14 million borrowed shares 644 000 uh share utilization of 100 percent and days to cover at 2.46 so shorts indeed they are not covering and th they're not going to cover until they are actually forced to cover that's my personal opinion there uh but that's what it does uh look like now another quick note about the balance sheet reduction is if uh, when it starts when you actually see the balance sheet being reduced and the interest rates going through the roof and you see the fed actually raising the federal funds rate as well that puts a lot of pressure on margin rates on cost to borrow rates and it makes capital a lot more expensive especially for these types of uh revolving lines of credit 
that hedge funds and institutions use uh, to play around in the markets. It makes our situation a lot more bullish. If it becomes so outrageously expensive to keep your short positions and you're also not making a lot of money on your short positions, it almost makes sense to get out of those short positions. Nonetheless, that's really what you guys need to know revolving around that situation. Stay tuned later on today. If there's any new updates, I will bring that to you guys gladly. That's not what I meant to do. Let's pull up AMC as far as the max pain for this week. And that is sitting at $22. So we're slightly below that right now. That would imply another move back to the upside. And as far as the technical analysis is concerned, uh, we just want to stay above $21 per share right now. That would still mean we locked in a lot of these gains that we had, we had seen before this big 45% day. But guys, we've, we went straight up. We've come straight back down. So we're inevitably going to see a move back to the upside. I want to see how violent is that move back up. Do we go back above $25 per share or $30 per share? What kind of move do we actually see if for whatever reason we break under $21 per share tomorrow and just start to flush and butter and everything is going down then I would watch that $18 level here with the 50 day moving average the MACD is converging about to go uh negative about to turn bearish the RSI is slightly above neutral at 52.72 so nothing too crazy there volume is at 29 million for the day it's really a question of when will volume come back into the stock you see that volume spike you know price goes up volume dropping price is going down it's going to revolve around volume and uh best thing to know is amc is one of one well gamestop you know, one of two let, let, let's just call it that of stocks that will always have this level of attention here until we actually do squeeze people are always going to fall into the stock they're always going to look for the next rally in amc stock so that uh should be a positive thing in your guys' minds as well so that is basically going to be all for the this video that is all you guys need to know amc stock is going to go crazy tomorrow so hit the like button subscribe to the channel do what you guys gotta do come join the trading group as well as follow me on twitter nonetheless i will see you guys in the next one